Start here. Welcome to my most useful focus abilities in Warframe. This won't be a guide on how to farm focus, that'll be in another video. I'll link it if I make one or if you guys recommend me to do one. Okay, let's start. Schools are the best way to beef up your operator. They can really change the game for noobs when used correctly. I'll be going in order from best to worst so you can get as much as you can from this video with the little time spent on it. You're welcome. First is Xenaric. This is the best school for new people. It focuses mainly on energy for Warframe and operators. Starting with Energy Pulse. It gives you additional energy for each orb you get. It isn't too noticeable. Energizing Dash is the best. This provides a circle around you that generates energy. Depending on how high its level is, the faster you gain energy and the longer the circle lasts. This should be the first thing you try to max out in this school and the first school you should try to get. Void Siphon and Flow are the waybound passives. Siphon gives more energy regen and Flow gives more energy pool for your operator to use. This is generally used by energizing dash or void dash in general and even going into void mode with different operators. The waybound part means once you max them, it takes 1 million focus in that tree and a brilliant idol on shard to unbind them so you can use those passives in any other tree, not just the one that you max them out in. So every other part that doesn't say waybound isn't applicable to that. So that's all I recommend in getting for this tree. You can try to max out other stuff, but generally I would run the school without any other points added. Next is Matterai. This school focuses on doing the most damage. It's really useful in Eidolon hunts to make them faster. So a noob shouldn't focus too much on it unless you're hunting Eidolons a lot. Phoenix Talons increases damage, so max that out. Phoenix Spirit increases elemental damage, so max that. Void Radiance blinds enemies when you go out of void mode. Do not max this. It drains energy when used, and it just drains more the more it's ranked up. So go past this and go to Void Strike. Max that. The longer you're in void mode, the more additional damage you can get. When it's maxed, it gives 12% more. That doesn't seem like much, but it's really good for the increased damage by the Matter I School. The Waybound passives in here are Inner Gaze. It just gives added energy for amps, meaning you can shoot more without having to stop. Eternal Gaze increases the region of that energy pool for your amps, and it increases the amount you can fire again, and it decreases the amount of time you have to stop between firing. So Blazing Dash and Meteoric Dash can be useful for protecting a defense target or hurting an idol on fast, but you can choose if you want to use that. Everything else is pretty much useless. Up next is Unero. This school focuses on defense strategies and breaking defense in other enemies. Void Spines is alright, it isn't used too much. So just go for Sundering and Crippling Dash, both are good and used for Eidolons. Crippling reduces the damage dealt by enemies, and Sundering decreases defense. Both are activated by dashing into enemies. Unera Wisp is good when Void Blasting. Wisps form at the enemy's feet when hit, and it'll also give you a boost in damage. They're mainly used for Eidolons as well. Stone Skin is also good for both Warframe and Operator. It increases damage by a set amount on, on how high the level is. Waybound passives here are Ballast Scales and Ballast Gaze. These deal with Operator Defense and Armor. This can really tank up your Operator to the max and is really useful with Eidolons to stay alive. Next is Naramon. Kinda sounds like a weird Pokemon. This school is all about melee and movement. A common misconception about this ability is that it can be used like an affinity booster by killing things with melee weapons. This is false. It only increases the amount of affinity gained by melee kills for melee weapons. So it can only be useful when leveling a melee weapon because all that affinity will mainly be directed to that melee weapon. It won't go to your Warframe. It won't go to anything else you're trying to level up. So generally, it's only meant for melees. So you shouldn't avoid other schools because of this. It's not good for focus farming. Literally, it will give almost the same amount of focus, and it's very minuscule the difference. So I recommend still using Xenaric or Matterai or Uneru, whatever you use. So it doesn't increase affinity or focus gain by much. Waybound passives are Mind Step and Sprint. These deal with movement speed in operator form. It can also allow you to Void Dash faster, and it can be fun to travel with. But with such niche usage, that's why it's lower on this list. Finally is Vazarin, probably the most useless school that nobody really uses too often, unless you're a main healer. So this school is all about healing others and yourself. Mending Unity increases affinity range, so this is only useful with shared affinity links, and it just gives it an increased range. You can also heal as Trinity farther. It's not really too useful, and it's very niche. The Waybound passes are Enduring Tides and Rejuvenating Tides. Rejuvenating deals with regen, and Enduring gives you more health to your operator. That's about it. It's a really niche healing school that works best with Trinity. That's why it's the last one on this list. So this is just a guide for the average person, and 
generally when they don't have too much time to focus on just one game. If you like the video, please like, leave a comment, subscribe for more Warframe content and War Warframe tutorials. Comment down below if you have any questions and I'll get to you there. And if you have any other suggestions on what I should cover for beginners, I'll be gladly to do so. So anyways, this has been Star signing off and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.